know what's super crazy is that it's 222 on 222 right now. That's not divine timing. <laughs> I don't know what is. Those clocks are five minutes fast, so don't. Anyway. See, 222. Anyway. <sighs> that was a mission. Um, I don't know if this is the beginning of a new one or if this is in a different one. But I spent a lot of money um, grocery shopping because I haven't gone grocery shopping like full-on grocery shopping like restocked my stuff in like at least two weeks if not three to four weeks um I also haven't been eating either it's either I don't eat or I eat like shit I haven't really been eating like good nutrient dense foods it's more of just like I'm hungry and I'll just eat whatever's in front of me because I don't want to think and I just you know mentally has been a little not good but you got a big Costco haul got a Trader Joe's Rayleigh's all the things so let's jump right into it um I'm so happy that at the Costco they finally when I went and when I needed them had my yogurts so I got the Oikos Triple Zero yogurts. I have been eating these bad boys since I was in high school. Best yogurts on the market. 15 grams of protein, zero fat, zero added sugar, zero artificial sweeteners, and they taste bomb. I uh, normally just get mixed berry, but since it was the pack, I'm okay with it. It has strawberry and vanilla. I'll just throw some berries in the vanilla, and you know, some granola, all the things, all the fun stuffs. Um, I also did get these frozen mixed vegetables I would throw them in my freezer right away because I went to Costco like three hours ago so. these vegetable medley or melange, melange fire roasted anyway it's Brussels sprouts mushrooms red and yellow bell peppers and red onions and then it's already seasoned like with uh their fire roasted olive oil salt pepper it looks bomb I love all the vegetables in there so not that bad boy um I also did not film this yesterday but I um cleaned out like deep cleaned my fridge and I cleaned out everything um because that was very needed I got some bananas I usually do the organic but the organic were already spotting and I don't like a brown banana and honestly these aren't green enough for me so but they're little so hopefully I go through them fast as always, pasture raised eggs because if you know, you know, you know. Um, yeah, just putting these away right away. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I got bloobs because, oh, and raspberries, which I'll clean later. Um, and a pineapple. The reason why I got these fruits there, because it's a lot for just me, I'll freeze them before they go bad. Um, however, they were like $5.99, I think, a piece. And if you go to Trader Joe's or any other grocery store, maybe not like Walmart or Winco, but the grocery stores that I, I go to, for just like one pack, it would be like $4.99, $5.99. So I'm like, I'm getting way more bang for my buck. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jellybean? Um, yes. And then lastly, some cornmeal tortillas. I think I'm going to try and prep like some breakfast burritos or something because I always say that, but I always like never have the ingredients. So that's what we're going to try and do. And then of course, case of waters, obviously. I think that's all I got from Costco. If I'm not mistaken. And then from Trader Hose, I got some sourdough bread, which I need to get back on my sourdough bread making. Okay. Threw that in the sink by accident. 
um, because it's just better for you and the ingredients are better and it tastes better. Um, I got some little jam lettuce. Um, I'm just going to chop this up, use it for whatever, make little lettuce cups. Easy. I'm not a big tomato girly, but I do love me a crispy Roma tomato, especially like as a garnish with like ground beef, especially. So some maters, uh, some asparagus because good for digestion and it's tasty. Cucumber, good snack. Some granola. This is the best granola and in my opinion, the best macros. So I used to get the bare naked, um, which is still really good, but this one has way less sugar than the bare naked one. Um, and it tastes great. More seaweed snacks. I literally still have like four left, but I go through those like it's going out of style. Some marinara sauce. Um, I really love this one because the ingredients are really clean and clear. I mean, and it's organic, um, but there's no added sugar to it, which is fabulous because most of the time, like most of the time, especially when it comes to jarred red sauces, there's so much sugar added into them. And this one has literally zero. Um, the organics are organic tomato puree, organic diced tomatoes, um, tomato ju organic tomato juice, salt, dried oregano, dried onion, um, organic Parmesan cheese, sea salt, organic dried garlic, organic garlic powder, organic dried basil, and organic dried oregano. That's it. Good. You know what I mean? Um, and then I add a little bit of tomato paste, zhuzh it up with some more seasonings. Sir, yeah, get on my face. And then you have a really good tomato sauce. Um, olive oil, avocado oil. Olive oil, spray well they're both sprays obviously but i use olive oil when i'm cooking like meat and stuff like that when you kind of want that extra flavor and i use avocado oil because it's um what is it a neutral oil so you don't taste it so like if i'm cooking like on my mini waffle maker or if i'm making eggs or like things of that nature that's what i use the avocado oil i got some sumo citrus mandarin um i was gonna get a bag of navel oranges but this was the same price and I know it sounds silly, but there was less in here. And I know like I can get through five of these. I cannot get through 10 oranges. So, and honestly, sometimes mandarins just taste better anyway. They're a little sweeter than an orange. Um, and then I got some Honeycrisp apples because kind of, so I don't ever really buy bagged apples, but these are really small. So they're easier to snack on, um, you know, that kind of thing. And I can get through these and normally like I'll buy like three normal size apples and I'll usually end up eating two and unfortunately throw another one away. So with these, it's like, I don't know, in my brain it makes sense. And that's it for Trader Joe's. And then lastly, look to Bel Air. Excuse me. With the Brilla protein pasta. Excuse you. Um, with this pasta specifically, you, with a lot of like wheat pastas you taste it and it's not that good and it's a texture and it's just bleh right this is like one of the only pastas like pasta alternatives it's still just pasta and that tastes the same and you don't taste a difference um but i will say even if you got the regular brilla it's only like a two gram difference in uh, the protein department so it's not that big of a difference this does have more fiber and this also does have um what is it I think it's just higher in fiber but yeah like the carbs usually kind of end up equaling out the same you might have i think there's a little bit less carbs in um, these ones than in the normal ones but like same amount of fat only a little bit more protein but i just i like the flavor the protein i need any extra protein that i can get and it works for me so but when you're eating pasta specifically most pastas have a fair amount of protein so just Keep that in mind especially if you hate like a chickpea pasta or like a wheat pasta you know bacon regular because you gotta live a little sometimes you know what i mean but i also got turkey bacon for most days because i do like the flavor of turkey bacon kind of in the same realm like turkey bacon really isn't that good for you like like uh like it's just very processed so if you're trying to stay away from processed stuff do not get turkey bacon because it's so highly processed 
but if you're kind of just looking at like your macros and that kind of thing it's better for you to have a turkey bacon than it is for you to have a regular bacon um and for those of you who don't know i am i say certified per, i am a issa certified personal trainer and i do have a specialty in nutrition through that course and i've also taken I think four to five nutrition classes in my college career. So I do know what I'm talking about. I'm not saying I know everything, but I do have a good knowledge of nutrition. So just, yeah, anyway, butter, Carrie Gold Butter. Hello, hello, the best butter. I tried Vital Farms because I thought it was gonna be delicious. I hated Vital Farms butter. This butter is the best butter ever pound of turkey breast. I had a $3 off coupon for a pound. Um, but the, after the, uh, deli guy informed me, it, it'll usually go bad within about five days. Um, so I don't know if we can eat it all. And it was just $10. So I hope I eat it all. If not, maybe I'll freeze it. I don't know if you can freeze deli meat. Alexa, can you freeze deli meat? Lunch meat can be stored in the freezer, where it usually can last one to two months. However, lunch meat is best when stored in the fridge, where it usually can last three to five days after opening. Thanks. Anyway. You're so welcome. Your kindness really gives me a charge. This is what happens when you live by yourself. Anyway, uh, so I hope I go through that. If not, then I will freeze it, because I just found out that I can. Some Olipops, grapes. You know what it is, the best Olipop flavor. Fight me. Actually, crisp apple and then grape, but grape all year round because, yeah. Um, I had 60 cents off of a Red Bull, so I got one singular Red Bull. And then I got two cherry twists because this is my new favorite Alani flavor. Next to Kimade, but I can't find her anywhere, so. But yeah, that's my grocery haul. I did have, like, a bunch of, here, I'll show you, actually, because my freezer is nice and clean. Um, I did have whoa, a lot of like freezer meat and like chicken and stuff. So I didn't need to buy that. Okay. So here is all of that. So like I have chicken breast. I have th four things of, uh, hello, of ground beef. I have shrimp. I have ground pork in the corner. This is the uh, Costco dry tip and you can freeze it. It said that you could chicken patties, two things of chicken thighs, some tortellini, and then uh, two portions of salmon. So it's like I have all my protein here. And then um, I have a kimbap. I have these when like, I don't feel like cooking, but I need some sort of food. These are so good. And they're actually decently, they have 16, okay, hold up, wait a minute. You know what's crazy? I never really looked at the macros on these because I liked the way they tasted and I didn't want to. But there's only 7 grams of fat, which isn't crazy. 29 carbs, which is a little high. But with my um, macro breakdown for me personally, I do have higher carbs because I like carbs. <laughs> and then 16 grams of protein, which is actually pretty good. So these are actually not terrible. What is that? And only 250 calories for the whole package. And the whole package usually keeps me pretty satiated, so... I should have bought more of those. I only have two. Anyway, back to... So, yeah. Um, the two dumplings. I have almond croissants that I haven't baked. I've had those for a couple months. The vegetables I showed you. One of the kimbaps left. And then I have broccoli, green beans, brussels, roasted corn, and then kale for smoothies. I obviously don't have any frozen fruit. And I need to buy some. But I haven't been to Target yet. And I like getting my mix. Hello? Excuse me. From Target because Target actually has a very good like frozen frozen fruit mix. It's like strawberry, pineapple, and mango, I think. I don't know, but it's tasty and I just haven't gone to Target yet. So, but I'm gonna put this away and go from there. Hello vlog. I don't know when this is going. <laughs> I feel weird. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna be in a video. Um, <laughs> oh, do you want to be my vlog? Hi! Hi. <laughs> I'm single and ready to mingle. So, 
Go ahead, 9033135. Uh, my phone better be blowing up. We look cuter than this. <laughs> Come on, Mike. 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 Come on, Good morning. Don't mind the YouTube video in the background. So it's the next day. Um, I took those two green tea shooters and then I had a beer and that was about it. Um, but I am doing a juice cleanse today because I have it and I want to do it. I will say I did have two pieces of toast because I wanted some sustenance because I was feeling a little nauseous and so I was like let me just have a little something um kind of defeats the purpose but at the same time whatever I'm gonna do what I want but I'm on the second juice greens too um it's actually pretty tasty I think I've had this one before but I forget um I already drank the first one which was like the almond milk vanilla almond milk and yeah i'm gonna attempt to not eat the rest of the day like just do the cleanse obviously i might if i feel like i need something i'll probably just have some fruit because i have a crap ton of fruit that i don't want to go bad um but yeah besides that that's all i'm gonna do um i've been pretty busy like every weekend since like the second week of the year and it's the first weekend that i don't have anything planned and then i'm not like going and doing something with someone and so I'm like what the frick do I do so we'll see how the rest of my day goes because literally I'm like when you have anxiety you just spiral <laughs> you know what I mean especially when you're so used to doing something you're just like okay what do I do now <laughs> so we'll see but I'll check in a little bit with how my juice cleanse is going, if I even succeed in the not eating of it. Um, it's only like 11 to 1200 calories for the whole day, which is like, you know, it's not, you're not supposed to do that all the time. Um, but definitely good to like flush out your gut. And I'm also going to be um, back into my like workout routine and eating well the next, like this week, so. That'll definitely help kickstart it, but check in in a little bit. Hello. Um, <clears throat> yesterday. So I did not finish the um, juice cleanse only because I totally cut up. I really wasn't feeling super hungry. Um, so in the morning I did have some toast. I don't know if I said that yesterday, but I did already eat something like in the morning. Um, and then my cousin called me and she was like, oh, do you want to go on a walk? I was like, sure. So we went and tried to go on a walk and then we ended up getting food and like, I could have just not eaten, but I was like, screw it. Like I had already eaten that day. So I drank three of the juices. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go get three, the three that I already drank. And then I'm going to do the juice cleanse. I think tomorrow we'll see. I think tomorrow, but I'm going to do a Trader Joe's haul because 
I got a bunch of random stuff. Um, I literally <laughs> went in just for the kimbap and I got two. But I did buy a bunch of, I ended up spending $48. That's a high Trader Joe's haul for me, but nonetheless. Pita chips. Bagels. Not one, but two kimbap. I need to put these in the freezer. Because I went to therapy and spent over an hour. So anyway, I got sweet apple ch chicken sausage for breakfast. And then I got the, <gasps> excuse me, <sighs> my chest hurts, spicy jalapeno. I think I've tried that one one time and I don't remember if I liked it or not. So we're just gonna try it again. My spoon from my yogurt. So I tried these on my Instagram, but they're little like pillow crisps, but they taste like the combos pizza and they're tasty. Um, I got some tzatziki. Um, I'm gonna have a little bit of Greek stuff. I think I might go to Costco and get some of those chicken skewers and make my own little Greek bowl. Then I got some red pepper hummus for my pizza chips. I got the vegan Caesar dressing. Um, not that I care about being vegan, but I've had this dressing before and it's tasty. I got, this is literally just like to have on hand because my other one expired. And this one's good until 2026, but it's vanilla bean paste. I actually need to throw this one away. Oh, I already did. Good job, Leia. Yeah, I had uh, other vanilla bean paste from Trader Joe's actually and it expired. I almost finished it, but I didn't. And then this was just like an impulse grab the Scandinavian swimmers yeah. and then more tart cherry juice because I'm almost out I have like a cup left so yeah because I'm getting back into my wellness grind if you know if I say so myself or at least I'm gonna try yeah $48 ridiculous but it's okay, but I am gonna have a kimbap for lunch because that sounds fabulous. That's it really. Um, I'm gonna do the juice cleanse tomorrow fully and hopefully it goes well. I'm excited for it. That's it, I'm gonna eat lunch. Hello, editing me here. I'm so backlit, it's not even funny. Um, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, come back next week for my juice cleanse update. Um, yeah, that's it. See you guys in the next one. Bye.